Hi everybody, welcome to our new webinar, Getting Great Photography, Insider Tips for Capturing Your Work. My name is Stephanie Hayes. I'm excited to cover with you some photography tips and tricks that'll make your photos stand out and capture attention. Just for a little housekeeping before we begin, this webinar has been pre-recorded. You can listen whenever works for you and come back to it as many times as you like. If you have any questions, please send them to ukprocommunity at house.com and we'll get back to you as quickly as possible. In today's webinar, we'll share how pros can approach getting good photography that will win potential clients. We'll cover what makes a great photo, the best practices for setting up photo shoots, how to leverage working with photographers and make the most out of your photos once they're captured. Your photography will be the first impression someone has of your brand. Think about what homeowners are doing today. They're heading online to find inspiration and to do research for the home renovation and design projects that they want to undertake. They're searching through millions of photos to find what they like, what they don't like, and they're also looking for pros who can make their dreams come to life. Your photos can either make a good impression or not so good impression, and the quality of your photography will really determine which one you make. Now knowing this and the impact that a quality photo can have on your brand means showcasing your projects with great photography is one of the best ways to give potential clients an idea of what you can do. In competitive renovation markets, it's necessary to have great photos showcasing work that will stand out from the crowd. Rockwood Cabinetry shares their perspective on great photography. Photography that captures your work perfectly makes a big difference to potential clients looking to hire. What great advice. To boost your profile with great photos, we would always recommend hiring a professional. But if you want to try it on your own, here are our tips for making your photography top tier. So what makes a great photo? This is something that we've been asked a lot. It's things like the size of your photo, the lighting, the composition, the angles, visual consistency, and the staging. These are all elements to a great representation of your work. We'll go into each one of these aspects. Tip number one, when choosing which photos to upload of your work, just remember the bigger the better. And why is that? Well, photos with higher resolution give you clear and more magazine-like images, and they will look great in the house photo stream and on retina displays. Consider what you want your images to do as a commissioner. Do you want to print them? Do you want to ultimately frame them and perhaps publish them? Do you want them for digital or social media? The higher res the resolution, the more options you'll have for better images, quality across a variety of different media. Here are some do's and don'ts specifically for house and our photo guidelines. First, do upload high resolution residential photos that are at least a thousand pixels wide or more of course, and please use either JPEG or PNG format. Please do not upload photos of commercial spaces, photos that are too small, or the resolution is too low, or the photos are a PDF or an EPS format. It's just not something that we can support. A crucial element to great photography is lighting, and this rings true whether you're taking the photos yourself or whether you're working with a professional photographer. The difference between creating average photos and the best architectural and interior images lies in being more intentional. While spontaneous photographs can be very whimsical and beautiful, photographing interiors requires more control over things like lighting, selecting the right time of day to take the photo, or using fill in light or even Photoshop touches to really create the best image. A professional photographer's secret is to create a contrast between the subject and the background, giving the scene a sense of depth despite the final product being two-dimensional. We spoke with photographer David Duncan Livingston on tips for lighting, lighting your projects like a pro, and here's what he had to say. Especially if you're a non-professional, try using only natural light first. On camera flashes, often light things up near the camera way too much, not providing enough light for things in the background. If you want to look at the image on your screen, the north facing window in the photo provides the most light, allowing us to have an airy and ethereal image. 
Plan your shoot around daylight. If you can, plan your shoot either early in the morning or late in the afternoon when light is more even in the house and the need for other lighting decreases. The sunlight is less direct at these times, so it'll filter through windows to create natural shadows that can add life to your photo. Avoid shooting towards the windows that's facing the sun. It's better for the sun and the daylight to come through the side windows. Another tip we have is to try adjusting the curtains to see how you can control the light that way as well. Keep your light consistent. Different types of light, whether it be with the sunlight, the flash of the camera, or lamps in the room, they all have different hues of white. Ideally, all the light types in a space should be the same so that you're avoiding competing tones. Lighting tends to be more orange at the end of the day, while the sunlight has a more bluish hue during the daytime. Turning up all the lights is just one way to avoid mixing light. If you do have a need for additional lighting, try to find bulbs that give off the same color as daylight so that everything is kept a little bit more even. If you are taking photos yourselves, our advice is to use a tripod. Putting your camera on a tripod can help you longer exposure to avoid blurry images while capturing low light areas. Likewise, a tripod can help you avoid deep shadows and overexposure in areas when there's just too much lighting. For example, the photo on the left was taken with a tripod and the exposure was four seconds too long. As you can see, this is a picture with nice crisp, crisp lines. It's not blurry at all. While as you see in the photo on the right, a longer exposure fails to let more light in because it was taken without a tripod. The key to create beautiful photographs is composition. While photography can certainly be subjective, some hues are generally more pleasing than others. Photographers will often vary their composition. Taking the time to compose a shot meaningfully will make a huge difference for the end result. Only frame what you want the viewer to pay attention to. Good composition makes the room look spacious, inviting, and really leads the eye around the entire space. Remember, people like symmetry and people like balance. The angles of a shot can vary. For example, some shots are taken from low angles and that allows the photo to really make a path for the viewer and allow them to walk into the room. The photo that you see here has low camera angle that makes the planes of the counter and the smaller table and puts the furniture in scale with the rest of the room and the seat. When shooting, try to set your camera very straight. Don't tilt it up, don't tilt it down. When you tilt the camera up, the vertical lines of the photo get distorted and it doesn't look very professional. For super strong composition, shoot straight onto the elevation of the room or the building. And in order to do this, you need the camera set to be parallel to your subject. The result is often more pleasing photo with a nice graphic feeling to it. With that, make sure to avoid wide angle lenses. While this is slightly counterintuitive because you'd like to capture the entire shot, a wide angle lens makes them close to the camera appear larger and items further away appear much smaller than they actually are. This creates a distortion that is unnatural and it's not something that we recommend. Standing back and using a lens with a normal focal length puts all the items in a comfortable proportion with each other. A great way to highlight your work is through capturing multiple angles and play around with the composition of the photos. Experiment with wider shots or closer shots. Look at the room from different angles. Consider things like visual harmonies, colors or lines and texture. Can you vary the focus or bring attention to different aspects in the room that people want to see the details of? Depending on your objectives, you may settle on a consistent look and tone or you may choose to vary it. Our research shows that homeowners love seeing the wider shots of the entire space, but they do also want to see those small details that create character. When you have a photo shoot, also try to create visual consistency. Being consistent with your photos helps you display your work in ways that homeowners will come to recognize as they see it over and over. For example, look at the images that you see here by Martha O'Hara. She stages photos with a consistent splash of yellow. That helps create a visual consistency for her brand. Taking the time to stage your home with these tips can really give your photos a nice consistent touch, and it's easy.
Speaking of staging, props can really improve the look of an image. Staging helps your photos look like an actual home and it's not hard to do. So you may consider adding a bowl of lemons or oranges or books to introduce pops of color into the scene or lamps that take up room and are artistic or flowers. And when in doubt, go for big dramatic flowers. They are elegant, beautiful and can go into any interiors. These are something that our homeowners like to see in photos on house. Now you can get creative with it. Tell a story. There's a lot going on in the room that you see here. There's the deep blue walls, the kitsch sofa, zebra pillows, exotic collectibles. This styling is what tells the story. What's the story here? Some sort of intellectual naturalist. We're going to get that from the glasses on the book with the leaf drawings on it. Perhaps this is his study and he likes to make himself comfortable here. He enjoys looking at the specimens that he's found in the fields. Perhaps he even uses the book and the magnify lens to identify the butterflies and the corals and whatever else he could have found. The staging is what brings entry to the photo and the drawer in the viewer, which is exactly what you want to do. Staging can be very tricky when it comes to bathrooms. There are a few styling tips to follow. The first one is put the toilet lid down. Then tuck away all irrelevant objects like toothbrushes, toothpaste, shampoo bottles and razors or anything that could be down on the floor of the shower. Look at the shot on your screen, the towel rolls, the textures of the lid basket, the little tissue box that matches the counter. Without these little things, it would be a pretty boring shot. But with these little styling tips, it looks just right and very inviting. We get asked a lot about before pictures and progress shots. Pros want to know whether it's worth to include it in their projects on house. We believe that showcasing project stages and progress points highlights your creativity. A lot of homeowners might not understand what's possible with a space, which is why they're hiring you, the professional, to give them something that they might not even realize is possible. Many pros take progress shots before or even during the projects so they can compare the different stages of it on their smartphones, which is perfectly fine. However, we do recommend being more intentional. Our tip is to hire a professional photographer for your pictures and after pictures for your file products. This brings us to another best practice. This is hiring a professional photographer. What are the best practices for working with photographers? In the next couple slides, I'll talk you through how to find the right photographer, how you should work with your clients, and finally, how to leverage the images when they're taken. If you didn't know, House has a professional photographer network, and it's just one great way to find professional photographers at competitive price points. You can take a look at their portfolio via their House profile and make sure that you find somebody whose style you really like and can capture your way to work and the way you want them to. If it's your first time using the House Photographer Network, you also may be eligible for some great deals on photography. So please visit www.info.house.com slash findphotographeruk.html to learn why. Remember, people are hiring you because you're an expert at what you do. And the same is true for professional photographers. In fact, it's professional photos that are more likely to be featured in the photo stream, to be used in house editorial stories, and to be saved to idea books. When looking to hire a professional photographer, it's important to do your research and find somebody who can really capture your work. You want to showcase it to potential clients as a representation and portfolio of what you do. Hiring a professional photographer is the best way to ensure you're capturing your work in the best way possible. Studio S Squared Architecture says you're costing yourself potential clients by not representing your work in its best possible light. Remember, great photography is always an investment to your brand. Now, once you find a photographer you want to hire, how do you prepare them to capture your project? When it comes to photo shoots, how involved do you want to be? How much control do you want over the final photos? Set the photographer up for success by communicating with them a clear vision of what you want and your goals for the project. Make sure they will capture it in the way you want potential clients to see it. It is in your interest to identify specific design details for the photographer to capture. Purple Cherry Architects talks about their approach. We do a walkthrough with a photographer and scout out design elements. 
Pretty simple, right? Once you've identified who, you, who will shoot your projects and who you'll work with, it's important to also set expectations with your clients and do that from the very beginning so that you have a smooth process after the project is complete. We have a few best practices for you to follow to make sure that you get the images that you want. Annie Santelli tells us how she approaches clients and how she sets expectations for the photo shoot from the very beginning. At the beginning of every job, I hype them up and I tell them how I'd love to photograph their house. One way to talk about a photo shoot from the very beginning is of course to have a release be part of the contract and create a formal agreement that allows me the right to photograph your work. However, keep this in mind, when a signed photo release is a legality binding contract, sometimes people just may not want to have their home photographed. Your clients can be one of your strongest sources of referral business and getting photos of their property may not be worth having an angry customer on your hands. Having these photographs can pay dividends, but at the end of the day, if the client does not want the photo photograph to be taken, we have to ask ourselves if it's really worth burning that bridge, even if there's a signed release. If your clients are happy with photographing their homes, timing is important. Strike while the iron is hot. Sharon Flatley of Sharon Flatley Designs recommends a quick follow-up. If you can shoot as quickly as possible after the project is complete, that is best. Also explain to clients that having photos of your work is vital to grow your business. This can really help them understand the importance of the photo shoot and why you're asking for it. Take the leap and have the answers to common client questions about photo shoots prepared before the client has the chance to even ask. You can prepare a one sheet that will address things like how you'd be protecting the client's privacy, what the actual photo shoot will entail, where the photos will end up. Things like this help put the client at ease and will make sure that they are much more likely to cooperate with you. Once you've captured the photos that you need, how do you maximize the reach of these project images and set yourself up for success? Having new projects uploaded onto your house profile regularly highlights your profile and gives clients a reason to look at it and to learn more about you as they do research for their upcoming projects. In order to improve search results, every photo that you upload can be described by keywords selected from these little drop downs that you can see on the screen. The keyword should be what's in the photo. These are search filters for our users, and the more complete the filters are, the higher the likelihood your photos being seen in relevant searches will be apparent. How do you get your photos added to idea books? Add new projects with high quality images on a regular basis when possible and use professional photography to get the best image quality. Make sure that you complete the photo faucet, the drop downs, the little keywords for each of the photos so that they can reach out easily as people search for them by specific keywords. Finally, spread the word through your own network. Have your friends, colleagues, family, add your photos to their idea books. Sharing your photos with your network and clients is the best way to get your project put into full circulation. It'll help increase their presence on house. As an added bonus, creating an idea book with a client allows them to engage from the very beginning and allows them to take an active interest in the project as they begin working on it with you. And the last item before we wrap up, I'd like to introduce our new Photo Plus service exclusive for Pro Plus members. If you're a Pro Plus member and you want to stand out of the crowd with professional shots, House offers you the opportunity to buy a discounted professional photo shoot with Miro, worldwide leader of architectural photography. Miro is a level up and a guarantee for you to get your work captured in the best way possible. With Photo Plus, Pro Plus professionals can purchase one or more vouchers for a shooting of 12 professional photos for only 69 pounds delivered to you in 24 hours. This is the perfect deal to increase your success. Our research has shown that Pro Plus clients with professional photography have 10 times more engagement and 1.5 times more photo clicks, pro contacts and site visits. We also know that authentic photos of real homes generate seven times more engagement than brand visuals like stock and catalog images. 
Showcase your best possible photography and you will get the highest level of engagement of homeowners. Don't miss out on this chance to boost your profile. If you are interested in learning more, you can send an email to ukprocommunity at house.com and we'll make sure that we get you connected with someone from our team. Also, we would love to get your feedback on this webinar topic and presentation. Let us know if you found it useful or it offered information that you can really apply to your business. And if there are any other topics that you'd like to suggest, please feel free to email us again at ukprocommunity at house.com. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you at our next webinar.